Hi all, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira, and today guys, we are going to be trying some new makeup from e.l.f. I had mentioned when I posted my last um, new makeup releases, I had asked you guys if you were curious about the new e.l.f. Um, dewy camo CC cream, and it didn't seem like a lot of people were, but by asking that question, I realized I'm I kind of was and I was planning on placing an elf order anyway for a bunch of the other newer items that they came out with so I decided why not why not pick up the foundation or the CC cream and see what I think about it let's get into it all right guys so my brows are done um, and I've, I applied my sunscreen which is usually what I use as my sort of like primer or base um, because I am going out after this so I want to make sure I am nice and protected from the sun um, and so let's open up this foundation. I got the shade medium 330 warm and it is warm with olive undertones. I was looking for a neutral but what I noticed is that the model that they used for this shade actually seemed to have really neutral undertones. Again I really want brands to sort of know the difference between warm and neutral and I don't feel like they've gotten there yet but um yes yeah. so let's see if this works on me. This is what it looks like. It is a full coverage, long lasting dewy finish and it has tremella mushroom and hyaluronic acid with a broad spectrum of SPF 30. Um, I just kind of ignore when makeup has SPF in it because I always wear my own SPF. So did I grab my foundation brush? Yes I did. Let's see how this looks. Oh, this might be a little light. Oh, I don't know. Let's blend it out. Let's see. It might be a little light for me though. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned. Oh, 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 that looks a little light. Which is so weird because the model looks like exactly my skin tone. Well, it, I mean, it's blending out. Mm. The problem is, is that my forehead, and you can kind of see, my forehead is deeper than the rest of my face. Um, it's always been that way. That's just the way my skin tone is um and nobody has exactly the same skin tone all over their face it's just they all have like varying shades of you know and varying undertones and things like that so i'm not like upset about that i'm just generally what i would do when i'm wearing a foundation that is this different as you can see here is that I won't take it all the way up because then it kind of looks like a mask. I have a little bit on my fingers. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just blend it up around my brows and see. I'm not going to add any extra to my, well, maybe a little to my brush or anything, but I'm just adding what's on my fingers and blending it and seeing what that gives me. So yeah, this feels quite, and you can kind of see here, my neck and my forehead are are darker than this part of my face they're also darker than my hands so I feel like it's actually not a bad match for like this part necessarily but we'll see how it looks once everything's like on and my it's gonna even out I'm gonna put bronzer on and all of that but right now I'm just kind of like mm -mm. because if I want something to match my forehead I usually have to go down a shade or up a shade rather and then it's a little too dark for the rest of my neck. it's it's a whole thing it's a whole thing and it's really just for me, it just depends on how I'm, what, what, what I'm in the mood to do when I'm ordering. And so for me, I went with what my, this part of my face kind of looks like. It's actually blending out really nicely. I'm going to zoom you guys in some more so you can see. This actually has a really beautiful finish. Like it feels, it does have a tackiness to it, but it's not. I was worried this was going to feel very like, you know sticky it does I mean it is I can feel it when I touch it it is a little bit tacky but it's not it doesn't feel like I don't feel like a grease ball I don't feel like it's gonna like move all over the place it kind of right now just feels like an unset foundation so now I'm only gonna use that amount because I don't want to because the shade is slightly light I don't want it to be too much of a difference you know, and when I feel like when you put more on with something that's full coverage, it's going to look more, you know, like it doesn't quite match your, you know, the rest of your skin. So let's do concealer. And I opted to grab a matte concealer. I don't know why. I just grabbed what was in my makeup capsule. I am going to do a makeup capsule refresh. I'm ready to sort of like 
move a few things out and add a few things in. Um, I'm gonna use a sponge for this. I decided that's a good way for me to sort of like get more use out of makeup that I like to use seasonally. And if I get bored, which I'm kind of at the point of being like a little bored with what I have in there now. So I'm going to swap some things out. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to make maybe try to make a short of that. Just showing you guys what I'm adding in um, and what's ta being taken out. All right. So that is my concealer. And I just use my Gucci concealer. Um, it doesn't look as bad. Now, it's still definitely like a difference as far as the, the tones here. But it doesn't look as bad now that I've put concealer on. For bronzer, I'm just using my bronzer that I already um, own, and I'm using the Give Beauty Pick It Up. And guys, you want to see something wild? You want to see something crazy? Can you see that? I hit pan, yo. I hit pan. I've got. I still had leftover foundation on my hand, and I've got it like all over me. Lovely. All right. So I'm going in. And I'm using the shade, um, what shade am I using? This is smoking. I always want to say it's smoking hot, but it's just smoking. <laughs> it's just smoking. And I feel like this will be the thing that kind of like marries everything, you know? Very pretty. I'm going to take some down here. for my nose and this is just basically how I apply my my bronzer in general I'll take a little bit more this is very malleable yeah which I like oh no I look guys I even got even more pan look at that and I'm just dipping in it's a very soft bronzer so I think you could probably hit pan on this really easily just in general because it's quite malleable which I like about it I'm just adding a little bit of that in there just to kind of help make this all kind of work and if I like this I, you know I might pick up a different shade a deeper shade to just sort of match my forehead I don't know I am just I have decided that I'm going to pick up a different shade in the about face beauty and if you I'll try to remember to put a card up for um, that review of that foundation the about face um, performer foundation I actually really like that foundation but the more I use it the more I realize it's a little too deep and too warm for me I think it would be really good shade for me in the summer um, but it's just still a little too deep for me right now in the middle you know it you know in January all right so I'm gonna put some now some blush on and I had a couple of blushes from that I purchased from the new um line that the the elf camel liquid blush I had two colors that I had picked up I picked up I think it was dusty rose and um coral crush and then I also picked up bronze bombshell and I'm really more in the mood for bronze bombshell today so I think I'm going to use that one and what I like about look at that tone I mean <laughs> how like come on so we're going to apply that and it comes with a little doe foot. I feel like this is their answer to the kind of like a combination of an answer to the Rare Beauty and the NARS blushes. Um, I will say that I hope that these are better than the NARS blushes. Oh, 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 oh that's a lot of pigment. Oh, okay. Okay. This is, it's giving rare beauty vibes. Okay, it's giving rare beauty vibes. Let's, let's take a sponge. Well then. Well then. That is quite warm on me. <laughs> um, we're going to go over this. with, And I like a strong, you know, guys know me. I love a, str a strong blush moment. But I feel like this is going on quite, um, with my undertone it's going quite orange um so I want it to be a, I wanted it a little more bronzy I was hoping it would be a bit more bronzy on me it is not tis not tis not guys I'm not even gonna apply any extra I'm just gonna take what's like on the sponge already and apply this half although mm, that's actually kind of pretty oh I love the like sun-kissed nose okay wait 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 
I kind of like that. Let's zoom you guys out a bit so you can see. I kind of like that. Ooh, okay. Never mind. I really. Now that I've blended it out, I d it definitely needs a sponge. I was going to use my fingers because I can generally use my fingers with liquid blushes, except the Rare Beauty one. So this is why this is giving me Rare Beauty vibes. With Rare Beauty, I need like a tool to help me corral that pigment. And I feel like it's quite the same with this. But now that this is blended out, look how pretty that is. And it's actually quite natural. It just looks like sun-kissed skin. And see, now that I've like... I don't feel like the foundation is even looking that bad, you know, as far as the, the tone is looking on my skin. That's actually really pretty. Okay, I'm impressed, Elf. I'm impressed. I mean, I'm not surprised to be impressed. This thing about Elf. I Elf is probably my favorite drugstore brand. Um, not, not necessarily my favorite affordable brand, but my favorite drugstore brand, like a brand that you can go to the drugstore and buy. Um, and... They've been doing so many dupes lately, and I do feel like the dupes have been hit or miss. I do feel like, you know, it just depends. Like, I was not a fan of the e.l.f., the the Halo Glow liquid um, Halo Glow, the one that's supposed to be sort of like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter dupe. I was not a fan of that at all. Um, but there have been other things of theirs I've just really loved. Um, and that, even their own products, though, like their putty blushes. I know some people don't like those, but I actually really do. Specifically the shade Barbados. I think that shade is absolutely stunning. I'm just putting some primer on my eyes because I do plan on doing my eyes. But I don't have any eye products, so I'm going to do that off camera. But I just figured I'd do this while I'm talking to you guys. There we go. But this blush, though, I mean, hello. Hello. And why do I want to apply more? Why am I like this? I was so I was so concerned, and now I'm like, I feel like I need... Do you think I need a little more? I feel like I need a little more. Just like here, like just like a little boop. And a little boop. I want to blend it out. I know. I'm, I'm insane. But I just feel like now that it's all blended out, I'm like, hmm, just a little more in the apples at the cheeks. Just a little. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy. See, that that was just enough. I just needed just a little bit more. Just a little, little, little bit more. All right. Okay. So now let's do lips. So I have two new lip products from e.l.f. I have the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. Now, here's the thing, guys. I hate plumping products. I hate them. I have, you know, I am one of God's favorites. I have full lips. I'm, I don't need to plump my lips. Um, so I really hate that all of the like really cool products that are coming out with really cool colors are all plumping. Um, I decided to try this because someone, something is in my eye and it's driving me nuts. It feels like it's like a fiber. Hold please. All right, I think I got it. Um, but yeah, someone um, that I was talking to on Instagram was telling me that this is not as painful as you know and as like you know my lips are really sensitive so anything that has like cayenne pepper or oh i did not bring a tissue so i'm just gonna wipe my little lip balm off right here with my fingers don't don't judge me um i can't really do a lot of things that are pumping anyway because the things that they use to, for that my lips get really irritated um they just my lips just don't like that feeling at all so I kind of shy away from that but this kind of caught my eye because I was told that this doesn't have that and it's got the little clicker kind of like the about face beauty um, lip product this is very sticky it's very sticky it this this is a dupe for the Tarte Maracuja juicy lips right down to the texture the texture is exactly like those now I have those. I have two of them. One of them I kind of like and I, I took with me to to Vegas and I used it quite a bit but they're still just too they're too sticky for me and this one the moment I put this on my hand just now and like blended it out I got that vibe but if you like those and you um or you're interested in those and you are looking for like a cheaper version this probably would work. This is the shade. What shade did I get? This is toasted, and it's very similar to the the shade of this. is very similar to the one that is from Tarte, and I think it's called Ginger. And I think that's the one that I have. It's very similar to that, the tone, the color, everything. 
it's very similar so that's that I might apply that at a later date but I'm really interested in where is it this here so I have the glow reviver lip oil and I'm very excited to try this I got the shade money talks or honey talks excuse me honey talks um and this is what it looks like how pretty is that so I think we're gonna do that guys I think we're gonna do this one because I'm in the mood for something sort of hydrating but that isn't this kind of light so I'm just going in with my um color hop bff3 this is like my go-to lip pencil because it's just the perfect like nude shade for me and it goes with everything but you know all of my like nude lips or neutral lips it really goes that's most of them for me this is the first the one of the few things i've purchased from color pop in recent time Cause I and my other one finished and I was like, oh no. I did get this from Ulta though. I didn't actually buy this directly from. I haven't ordered directly from ColourPop in years, to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, so let's try Honey Talks. Has the Clarins looking doe foot, which I love. That Clarins doe foot is so nice and plush and lush. All right, we're gonna high. Hmm. It has a mintiness to it, which I don't know how I feel about that. It feels like mint. And I want to see if it actually has that mint tingle vibe to it. I'm hoping that it doesn't. But right now, I'm not feeling anything. It just smells minty. I think what I'm actually going to do... I'm going to reapply this because now that I see the tone, I think I'm going to go all over my lips with my lip pencil and then, well, actually, I kind of like the look of this now that I'm blending it out a bit more. This is pretty. It's giving 90s vibes and I'm here for it. This is pretty. I'm going to smell it again because I just want to see just how strong the mint is. Because I didn't smell when I first opened it, but when I went to put it on my lips and it was under my nose, I can smell it. So, I don't really smell it in here, but you will smell it when you apply when you go to apply this on your lips, you will smell it. But it's not terrible. I, there's no tingling. It's not, there's no, like, plumping feeling. It just feels like a really nice, the texture is nice. The consistency is perfect. It's, like, not too thin because that's one of the things I hate when the lip, when lip oils are too thin, um, the Merit oils are very thin. I have one of those, and that's one of the things I didn't like about it. I love the color, but I just felt like I'd put it on, and five seconds later, feel like I had nothing on my lips um, because it was just so thin. So, yeah, this is... Why is this so cute? This whole look. Like, I could go out like this and put some mascara on and be solid. Maybe I will. No, because I have an eye look that I want to try, that I want to do. I'll be All right, back. guys, I'm back. I decided to keep the eyes really simple because I just really, but I really like the face and how fresh it looks. So I wanted to keep that. And I was going to do like a winged pencil eye anyway, and I was, but I was going to go in with something a bit more intense. But I was like, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to honor the look. We're going to honor the look. So I just went in with my Teddy Crayon pencil from MAC. I love this. It's like a, it's like a, basically like a metallic brown. So it has a brown, but it has a little bit more to it. And I created this little wing here. And then I just, I'm just leaving it because I just think it's so, I don't know. I love this for, I'm going out to run errands. So I didn't really need like a full bead anyway, but I'm really liking the way this is looking. So Next up, we're going to go in with the new mascara, the Lash Extender Mascara Length and Definition. Um, and I have it in the soft black shade. I was going to get it in the brown, but I still have my YSL brown mascara. And I'm so like, I'm very, I'm very um, picky about the brown mascaras that I buy because so many of them are not actually brown. Now, the little, the little thumbnail that they had on the website looked brown, but I was just like, you know... 
No, I'm just going to get it in black because I don't want to be disappointed. So we're going to try this in black. And keep in mind that like I feel like mascaras are not something that you can really have a true opinion on when you first open them up. But we're going to try. So let's apply our first coat. Let's do this one. Put a little bit more on the brush. It does have one of those like it's a rubber or plastic bristle brush, and it's like got that like conical shape. Um, I generally don't love these types of brushes, but so far this one is not annoying me. So that's good. Usually with these types of brushes, I wind up poking myself in the eye. Um, yeah. So that's not fun. But what I do like about it is I'm thinking it's really getting to the outer corners of my lashes which I struggle with 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 most traditional you know like the bristle traditional bristle mascaras I do struggle getting the like outer corner of my lashes actually okay I feel lower I'm not mad about that that's actually really nice okay for a first try I, I'm enjoying it of course, I will report back to see how it does, you know, over time. But I was looking for a newer mascara to, like, bring into my repertoire. So this shall be the one. That's actually really pretty. I'm so happy with how this looks. It's so, it's so 90s. Especially with my little hair wrap. I could totally pose for a 90s R&B cover. <laughs> totally. All right. And finally, I have a powder. Wow. Now, this is a dewy. Again, let me backtrack and tell you guys how this is feeling it's not super tacky at all I mean I can feel it like when I touch it but as you can see it's not like my, my fingers are not like sticking I don't have a lot of product on my hands from my face I don't it doesn't feel heavy which do we foundations for me because my skin and to give you some context my skin is normal to oily um and it doesn't take much to veer it into the oily territory if it's something that my skin like if I'm in a dry environment my skin will bump up oil production um, if it's humid bump up oil production you know so for me the test for this foundation will truly be how long it lasts because right now it looks great um, I do have a powder that I bought from elf and I have the same powder I have the it in the original packaging this is the elf halo setting powder but I had it in the I think it was medium deep tone and that tone is just a bit too deep for me I noticed when I was using it that it was kind of like darkening my foundations and it's already kind of on the the, the warm side um, so I decided to go down a shade in it and it's in new packaging um, and I will show it to you and it's in this really pretty like before it's in the black packaging um so i have it now in this new packaging so we're gonna try this um did i bring a powder brush with me no what we're gonna use what do i have we're just gonna use this i'm just gonna use this um classic face so you this little mini one because that's what i have over here and i don't feel like getting up to get another another brush so let me peel this off one thing I will say that I do hate about drugstore products, guys, is all of the plastic. It just, I, I mean, I understand it, but at the same time, it's just, it feels excessive and it feels annoying. So hold on a moment while I take this plastic off. It took way longer than it should have. All right, so I'm going to pour some of this in the top. This is how I do my loose powders um, that I'm using a brush with. Um, and I'm going to swirly whirly. It's bringing up a lot of swirly whirly and I'm just going to put it in the places that I know I get oily. So I get oily around here, around here and everything else, just like in my T-zone. These are the areas that I will absolutely positively get oily in if I'm like hot or this is where my shine comes through, you know, my oils start to come through. So I'm just doing that. And this powder, the whole point of this powder is that it's supposed to have, it's like a glow to it like it's supposed to be sort of like blurring but also slightly glowy so this will keep the integrity of that sort of like glow that we're getting from the foundation 
All right. And that's all I'm doing. I literally use the smallest amount of powder because I don't like a lot of powder on my face. I used to, but I don't anymore. I like it just the bare minimum, whatever will get me through the day, you know? All right, guys. So that is this. Let me zoom you out a little bit more. This is the full face of e.l.f. Um, minus my lip liner and eyeliner and brows. Um, but yeah, this is... I'm, I'm really excited about this because... I was worried and now that I've have it on I'm like this is so pretty <laughs> this is so pretty it's like that perfect like toasted look you know and I this will be I will say if you are of a fairer skin tone than me or if you are of, of a paler skin tone um this particular shade this is the one honey talks is that it or am I getting it mixed up with some no bronze bombshell I'm getting it mixed up with the, the bronze bombshell this is going to be very intense on you because it was very intense on me um so proceed with caution use maybe one dot i use three because i'm an insane person but try start off with one and work your way up loving the lip oil it's still this feels very much almost like a lip gloss not like a lip oil it doesn't feel too thin which i'm really enjoying um the foundation actually looks now that i have all my makeup on i'm actually really happy with how it looks so i might just stick with this um this shade for now i'll have to see how i feel about it throughout the day and of course i will update you guys like I said, i'll put a pinned comment and let you guys know how this is wearing and how i feel about it overall but so far i'm really liking this look this is perfect for me this is that perfect like i put some effort in but i, I didn't want to put like i wouldn't want to do like full beat full beat and this is perfect for a day like today i'm going out I am running errands and I wanted it to be, I wanted to feel put together, but I didn't want to feel like I'm wearing like super dramatic makeup today, you know, on a weekend. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Did any of these products catch your eye? Did you pick anything up? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, guys, please be sure to hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.